Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now we are currently on the back of a Tapahara that belongs to Lightning King, and we are searching for a Tapahara to tame for ourselves. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited about this. This is going to be the last bird, basically, I think that we're going to need. We could, of course, tame an RG, but since we have the Quetzal, we probably don't need one. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited, and we are looking for a level 100 plus as we speak. So I will bring you guys back when we find one, and hopefully we will be able to watch the whole taming process this time around. Um, if the game does not bug out. Oh, wait. Level 35. That's no good. Alright. Cool. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Tap. Tap. Okay, guys. We are back and we have spotted ourselves a level 120 Tapahara here. Let me see if I can hit it. Yeah, that's one. All right. So hopefully we can turn around and chase this guy. Was it that one? Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let King know that I actually did hit him. Pretty sure it's not that one. All right. There he is. Okay. So we need to hit this guy again. We should have plenty of trank darts. Whoop. Missed. Okay. We, he's kind of too far away. Unless we're very good. Um, he's behind us, actually. There we go. All right. Cool. Hopefully this works. Um, this is the kind of the uh, dual taming method, so you can tame with a partner. And King has been pretty awesome about um, letting me use items in his base and kind of helping me out with taming. And so I thought it'd be really fun to go and do um, this last little flyer episode by doing kind of a dual tame. So it's a little bit tricky to see. I'm pretty sure that's the wrong Tapahara. Oh, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I can't even like spin all the way. It's not that one. Um, nope. It's totally gone. Yep, we did lose him. Dang it. All right. Um, so I'll bring you guys back again when we find, either find that one again or um, find another one that we decide to tame. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, here we go. Can we please fire the bullet? Got him. All right, perfect. Okay, I'm going to pull out this already and make sure we are all ready to start firing when we land next to this Tapahara. Um, so what we did was we bulleted out of the air. It's a level 80, which is not bad. It's not um, the level 120 I saw earlier, but that is totally okay. All right, headshots. Hopefully this holds out long enough. All right. Nope, 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 nope. Can we reload? Ah, I might get it stuck. Okay, bola. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was lucky. Ugh, so, so lucky. Okay. Can we please fire? There we go. Got him. This is like the best tame I've had all week, I think. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so we have this level 80 Tapahara. Um, all right. King is going to go and get 
King is going to go and take care of getting some kibble for us. Uh, he's got some kibble back at base that he's going to let us use. Some aloe kibble is what it takes to tame these. I'm going to hang around here and make sure this thing stays unconscious. And uh, make sure that nothing tries to kill our Tapahara, because that would be awful, actually. Um, so there is a raptor up there. There's a little lystro there. That's okay. I do have some narcotics on me in case it starts to wake up. All right, okay, so our main goal is to defend it until King gets back. All right, I'm afraid to like walk away from it because I probably will lose it. I'm not gonna give it anything right now just in case um, something comes along and decides to ruin my day here. I'm super excited about a Tapahara. This one, um, I'm not sure I love the colors on this one particularly, so I think what we're gonna do is we are actually gonna color this Tapahara if we manage to tame it. So make sure you leave color suggestions in the comments below. Um, that's going to be like probably the most fun part of this is that Tapaharas just look really cool with their bright colors. I really don't trust that raptor <laughs> at all. Okay. Yeah, we got plenty of time though. Let's check out this guy's stats real quick. Hopefully the uh, area is safe enough. Got a little bit of lag going on, but not too bad. All right. Um, health is okay, stamina is okay, melee actually looks pretty good. So this is kind of a good, um, middle of the road tame, I think. You know, it's a pretty good Tapahara. I, I, I don't need, like, a super high level one. I'm mostly going to be using it for, like, having fun strafing around because they do have, like, a sideways movement, which is pretty awesome. Um, so that's mostly what we're going to be using it for. All right, I'm getting a little framey here, um, and I think my game might crash if we're not careful. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys back in a minute. Okay guys, we are back. King has just stopped by, um, and we now have ourselves this soothing balm and some aloe kibble, and there we go, it insta-tamed. Cool, perfect. Um, awesome. I'm so excited, I can't even. All right, we're going to go ahead and put on this saddle I have here. And we are going to take this guy for a test drive. I'm going to go ahead and thank King real quick. Whoops. King. King. <laughs> All right. So he has been like super helpful. Um he came by on he came back on his Quetzal and helped us out. Oh, this is neat. So you can like strafe around completely sideways by dragging exactly sideways on that um, invisible controller button on the other side, um, on the left hand side of the screen. So instead of like going forward normally and turning like you would here, so in this case I'm just holding the forward button, you can literally just go side to side, which is pretty cool. All right. I actually kind of like the wings on this guy. I hope that it just uh, just changes the body color when we go to do something, because um, those orange wings are actually really pretty. All right. Yeah, 119. 119. I'm going to let everybody know who's on the game right now, because um, they've been cool, and we've been talking some lately. I'm going to go ahead and start flying this guy around to test him out. It's pretty awesome. I wonder what all we can carry, because I definitely need to like feed this guy right away. Flyers use quite a bit of food. We do have quite a bit of Stam. I kind of want to stay away from Argies. Let's see. We are getting pretty laggy here, unfortunately. Um, that can be a huge issue with the game just how much lag there is going on. You see how all the creatures are frozen. Um, ugh, it's just terrible. I may have to restart my game here pretty soon. Oh yeah, I can't even land. Oh no. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and land for a second. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and restart the game and see if that helps, and I will see you guys in literally half a second. Okay guys, we are back and I did have to go all the way back to the Redwoods because it got too dark, um, on top of which my game crashed 
part of the way. So um, it's uh, it's been a bit of a challenge trying to get this uh, done. I really hope we don't crash in this next part of the episode here. But man, this tapahara is amazing. So I love the strafe. You can kind of just like circle your treehouse base if you have one, which is pretty amazing. I am getting a little framey here. I need to be careful. Uh, maybe if I land, I won't crash. We'll see. Um, the latch ability is also really cool. Now what you have to do for the latch ability is go into your options menu, go to your controls, and turn on the left multi-tap to the jump alt attack 1 and the right multi-tap to the reload alt attack 2. Now then, hopefully we don't crash here. Can we fly please? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So now you fly up to whatever you want to latch onto. In this case, um, I have a tree here. You right multi-tap, and then you wait a second, and then left multi-tap. And then we are officially latched onto the tree, which is pretty amazing. Um, this is kind of a cool little spot up here. So that's how you do it. Um, it's really tricky to get the hang of. It took me a few tries, um, but it's super cool, and that is how you attach two trees with the tapahara. So hopefully everyone finds that useful. Now to get off, I believe you have to first, I think you have to do the same thing. So you left multi-tap, and then right multi-tap, and it kicks you off the tree, which is pretty great. All right, let's go ahead and head down here a little bit. I'm going to land for a second, uh, make sure I have stam, make sure I have the whole area okay. Okay, so uh, the game is so bad, I did have to re-log there for a second. Um, okay, so we're going to see what we can do. I definitely want to try this thing out, um, even though it looks like the whole server maybe lagged out a little bit. I wonder, can we pick up a terror bird? No, it's too big, that's okay, maybe we can beat it. Especially if it doesn't move. Um, come here. Oh, please. This would be a bad time for the game to crash, I gotta say. Because um, we would be on the ground with this thing. The Tapahara might be okay. I believe it is on a neutral setting. It probably would just fly up. Um, and I can always, of course... Eh, there we go. I can always, of course, recall the creature to a bed. Um, which I have a bed in my dino pen, so it would not be too big of a deal if the Tapahara flew off. Uh, I would lose everything in its inventory, but right now I think that's only meat and hide, so not too bad. All right, can we please? One more. One more hit. Two more hits. There we go. All right. So the Tapahara is actually... It's not like the weakest creature in the world. It's certainly a little bit more um, powerful than the Pteranodon, and it definitely has um, has a little bit more maneuverability because when you are in the air with the Tapahara, you can, of course, do the sideways movements, but you can also go backwards, um, which is super handy. And then it does have three seats on the saddle, so you can carry two friends with you, which is pretty awesome, which is what we were doing in the first part of the episode. Oh, no. Um, now the problem is, when you have three people in the saddle, um, if you are one of the passengers, you cannot go into third person yet, which I did try out. Um, unfortunately, that does not seem to be a thing that you can do. What level is that Gigantopithecus? I am very curious right now. Level 95, that's not the worst. Um, I've seen better. What is attacking me? Is it a compie? It's a compie. It's a set of compies. It's a bunch of compies. Get out of here. I don't need that. Oh man, I can't even kill compies. Uh, I feel a little bit weak. And definitely laggy. Um, oh, that is so bad. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and go over here a little bit. Um, I am not sprinting just because I don't want my game to crash and it looks like it's going to. It's really unfortunate. Um, it seems fine until I start using the in-game recorder. So that may be a problem 
with the recorder. For some reason, it's like overusing the phone's memory, I think, um, or something, because my phone has been heating up more than it used to with the recording device. And uh, my game definitely gets much more laggy when I'm using it. So I think that's a problem um, with the in-game recorder right now. Anyway, cool. So we have this Tapahara. It's pretty great. Um, I'm trying to think of like what else we can do with it. I already showed you guys how to do the latch, which is like the biggest thing. I don't think you can latch onto um, gates and walls yet. You used to be able to. We can test it out here. And when I say used to, I mean like in the PC game you could do it. Okay. Yeah, you can't do that. You can latch onto trees, um, but not gates. And I don't think I have any like real walls, but maybe we could try on the cliff here. Because that would be a handy feature. Yes. Okay. So we can definitely go on the cliff. Um, is this my third view? Third person view? No. I want my... There we go. That is pretty amazing right there. Oh, I lost it. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I like that we can grab onto cliffs and stuff. Um, I wonder... Oh, we can pull out a gun when we're latched onto stuff. That's handy. Oh, so this is like a cool way that you could maybe use to tame something. Um, if you latch onto a tree and then fire directly down below you, if you have a passenger, it'll be easier because the back seat um, is the first seat to get filled. So if you have a friend, they can just have um, some trank darts or a bow out or something and be firing beneath the creature while you do this. All right, can we... Let's go ahead and... Oh, I always forget. Right side, then left side. There we go. That's how you delatch. It's really tricky to get the hang of, but it's super cool once you manage it. Okay, let's go up here. I want to just like hang out on this tree for a little bit. It's so cool. There we go. And then third person view. This is probably between this and the, um, let's see, the, uh, the strafe. That's what it's called. I'm struggling with my words today, guys. Between this and the strafe, um, I think the Tapahara is like a super amazing creature. Super useful, super cool. I do know if you swipe up, I think you don't move anywhere. So if you try to like take off directly from the tree by swiping up on the left hand side, um, it doesn't actually do anything. You kind of just do that weird flap and then you latch back onto the tree. So you absolutely have to do the two reload buttons right now in order to do this latch. It's really, really hard, um, but it is pretty cool. All right. Oh, man. I just, I love the strafing. The strafing is like the best thing in the world. Uh, between the two, it's pretty great. All right. Let's see what we have down here. I feel like, I think I have all of the creatures named up that we've had so far. Um... I think I named everything in the last stream that we had. Anyone um, who did not catch the last live stream that I did, um, we were given a beaver by another member of the crazy ones. So we have, I believe it's Buckteeth over here. Yeah, yeah, Buckteeth. We have Buckteeth, and then we also have a Moss Chops that I have not brought over here yet. Um, and we have a new Dodo, and we may or may not keep some of those creatures, but let's see. I don't think there's a way to mount the passenger saddle yet, unfortunately. So I wonder if it's maybe, nope, public seating. Uh, so if you turn on public seating, that means that anybody can hop onto your bird at any time. I'm gonna keep that off for now just because I do have so many people that'll probably want to hop on and go for a ride with me. Um, but you can enable that, especially if you have a friend that's like not part of your tribe or something that's uh, super useful item so that other people can ride. Okay. Man, I just, I really love the Tapahara. It's just so fun to like fly around and fly sideways like this. It looks really cool. And uh, they're not too bad for fighting, I think. Um, I don't think you can actually pull out weapons when you're flying, only when you're latched. So I am trying here. Yeah, you can definitely only pull out weapons when you're latched. That's kind of just like a flyer thing. Um, yeah, 
Even on the Quetzal, you have to dismount and stand on the back of the Quetzal in order to use a weapon. Um, eh. Let's go up here. I wonder if we can latch on and then dismount. I would feel a little weird about it. Let's maybe try over here. There we go. Will it stay? No. Okay. So if you press the uh, dismount button, it um, dismounts you from the tree. So it's almost like a secondary mount, which is a little interesting. All right, so you do have to keep your Tapahara on the ground, unfortunately, or on a platform, which is what I plan on doing because I don't want to lose this thing. All right. Ooh, that was pretty close there. Go ahead and go back into, uh, can we please go back into first person? Up. Uh, I cannot remember what I did to make myself go into this view, but I don't like it. That, please? Yes. Oh no, Rutrine was killed by an Arthropleura. That's not good. <laughs> that's not fun at all. All right. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you did enjoy, please do remember to hit that like button. It seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. As well as if you want to see more cool uh, tames because... Oh, sweet. Thanks, King. Um, yeah, got to type it out. <laughs> if uh, we are going to move into like water mounts pretty soon here. So that is going to be the next thing on the list. All right. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana.